Generals, gentlemen. Hello and welcome back to Zero Hour 1.6. Here we are, the Generals, gentlemen. Today's game will feature True Viking as our yellow. China Vanilla at the bottom. Oh, 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 Uptown Girl will be our GLA stealth down the bottom here of Tournament Desert. Sorry, I couldn't resist a little bit of Billy Joel. It is. Ringo's fault for calling himself Uptown Girl yeah. in this particular matchup. If you're going to name yourself after classic music, Blake will introduce <laughs> your song via his vocal yes. talent. Yeah, we had a had Michael Jackson Black and White, and now you've had the the pleasure of seeing Uptown Girl. So yeah. uh, who's yeah. going to be next? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Who, who knows? Who knows what Zero Hour will throw at me next? Machine. So, oh, what? What? This is 1.6, bro. Viking, bro. <laughs> you're playing the wrong game. Wrong, wrong game, bro. Oh, he's going to get a dozer for it. In 1.6. Uh, oh, no. That's, that's cutting it close, man. Range. That's, that's cutting it close. Range. Oh, he it. gets it, too. I, I thought it wasn't going to. Ah. That's uh, not ideal, as that is his second, well, one of his two dozers, I mean, rather. Mm. So, for the record, when we say he was playing the wrong game, what I mean by that is in 1.6, they've nerfed the, the Terra cars. So, they actually have the same movement speed as the just the regular terrorists. So, there's actually no value. There's no reason why you would bother getting those terror cars yep. because they have the same stats as a regular terrorist. Short of, and what I haven't seen yet, someone actually capping it and leaving it exactly where it is. Yeah, that, that, that'd that's be clever. That's a strat because then there's like hiding the terrorists, and I think that's why they left it in there just for a bit yeah. of fun. They're pretty OP in 1.4. They are ridiculous. So, this is going to be a best of five series between these two players, but. Uh, there were a few games that went for like three minutes, so we were like, yeah, let's not do those casts. Yeah. As much as I enjoy three minute games <laughs> against Blake. Oh, <laughs> oh, DMs. Ouch. Machine, that hurts right in the fields. I'm, I'm not impressed with this. Terra's going to be moving in. Can he get the... No, he doesn't decide to go for that. Hmm, doesn't that look familiar, Blake? Your yeah. assault troop callers, well, My, your uh, outpost can't deny... Defender yeah. technicals because they're out just like two, like thirty seconds, like two or well, less, like five seconds too slow. It's like, oh, okay, fine. Well, he's going to be forcing away these trucks. There isn't actually any more infantry inside of that, but he will just have that machine gun. True Viking. Um, he's a true Viking at least. He's indeed. That's actually smart barracks mine placement. <laughs> That's going to work as well. That's clever. Nice, clever. <laughs> And it could have worked a lot better if anything actually went through that side. You wouldn't expect it. Yeah. You'd go for the barracks and go, oh, crap, I just lost my technical full of, uh, full of terror, so whatever happened to be full of. And another oh, man. RPG terror there. So it takes up the supply truck, and there's just no mining here from Viking. What? At the same time, though, didn't yeah. see these flame tanks burning out either. the right supply. It's orange versus yellow, so you can't really distinguish what yeah, color is which I didn't see that in either. the mini-map. So Viking <laughs> actually in a lot better spot than what I thought he was, but he will... Oh, no, give all. <laughs> he's vanilla, isn't he? This is hijacking. Is he stealth time. or is he vanilla? No, I'm pretty sure he's oh, vanilla. Stealth. Okay, oh, he's no, stealth. he's stealth. Yeah, yeah he's right. stealth tunnels. Yep. Uh, actually, I think vanilla hijackers require palace or something. Anyway. Yeah. Other I than think that. They do require more tech. Wait, we well, didn't they... have the thingy. What? What, what? what, what yeah. were we doing for stealth? Uh, what? Did we have one for stealth? For hijackers? Or? No, we didn't. We didn't have one for hijackers yet. We're doing sound effects, guys. <laughs> the new thing. I think that one's I don't broken. think we'll be doing it for many cars, but I think it's a bit of fun for now, so. Well, this is a <laughs> arc and hook mouse movement. You guys ready for this? The machine's trying to work something out. It's broken. So, I did broke you it. literally broke Fuck. it? That kind of sucks, dude. So Some of not coming in here. That is a worker, and that is a technical. Oh, there we go. It works now. Okay. I'm using like, my left hand to I'm do sorry. the mouse movement. This is kind of intense. Okay. We're following the technical. Well, All right, take over, please, machine. It hasn't, it hasn't broken. It's Save me good. from this. So we didn't really miss that much, apart from my awkward attempts to work this thing. Uh, so that's going to be Uptown Girls Flame Tank. I, I really had to think about that one because yeah. it's like the GLA Flame Tank is what yeah. I mean. Uh, technical, not quite getting sniped down. Is it going to be blowing up the supply? It could just be empty. I mean, like a lot Ooh. of them have been sneaking through with nothing in them. And speaking of empty, this outpost wow. apparently is em oh, no, no, oh, well, okay. There we go. It was just because I think it was because it was moving on some weird angle. The outpost Ooh. to actually do that. Okay, so that technical anyway. went down. There was nothing in it. That one's also empty as well. Yeah. The flame tank, though, however, is full of fire. That being said, I think the technicals were actually just to try and bait the units away for the flame tank. That's nah. That's too. That's too uh, far away. They won't. Yeah. Get, they won't get it. They won't get oh, it. Oh, he might. No, he won't quite get the outpost. He... Oh, he actually might come close to it. Almost. Not quite. Yeah, it didn't actually take it out. I, I go back to my earlier. Uh, you reroll. Mission. So yeah, reroll. <laughs> 
Uh, another, the, the supply's gonna be thrown down here for Ringo on the right-hand side. He's gonna be rebuilding that one. I think that's the reason he's not super far ahead at this point. He has been denying supply, but because of Vikings, um, Flame Tank push earlier, and the fact that he lost that supply, is only getting it back now. Uh, was delayed a little bit. Got the middle as well. Red Guard out for the oil caps as well now. So that'll be nice. Here's the quads. Don't forget about the mines. Yeah, hopefully he has remembered that. Blowing up the barracks. Mine still will be there, though. I'm going to have to get a worker out to clear those ASAP. It's going to be hard to push through otherwise. Does actually block off that side quite nicely. It is nice play, I think, from Viking. Here we go. Going to be taking out this garrison. Gets the evac. Can he firewall down everything? Going for the tunnel and the supply. Again, it's not quite within range. That's the quad pop coming through. Outposts as well are turning to match them. The fire tank gets burned down, but so do the workers. Outposts, they're getting some good kills on these quads. Really nice push there coming in from Viking. You timed that really nicely. With the flame tank moving in, you move those outposts straight in. Force all the quads back in the tunnels. Now he's going to take the tunnel networks down. I think there's more stuff here than he thought there was, though. He could actually uh, take the garrison with those tank hunters. Would be nice. Here's a quads. Quads coming in from the side now. They had to pop from a back tunnel, but they do take out at least bursting the shell here, and that means those tank hunters are going to fall pretty quickly. Yeah, and needs the garrisons with those RPGs, but he didn't actually get them, and now he's going to be giving a lot of scrap over, losing his tanks. Couldn't get the supply either, so a crushing defeat there for Mr. Viking. Not good at all for him. That was most of his army. Uh, actually, the, oh, can he, hit it? he might be able Is to use a TNT. He gets it. Oh. He may kill it, but it will just rebuild anyway. Yeah, it'll just rebuild Not anyway. Not really a huge deal, but it will Plus, deny timing. I think the timer's... Uh, it's, yeah, you it's should get it. It's repairing. I think you'll get it's it. It's being repaired. I think it'll it still get it. do much. Oh, no, it's it doesn't. Against buildings. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Against buildings. Actually, less than nothing. I thought it was going to do, but yeah. anyway. I thought it was like a little bit more than that as well. He's no Colonel Burton. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. Yeah. He's no demo jump. He's no, he's no demo jump and blowing up entire airfields with, <laughs> with a single bomb. Rebels as well. Stealth Rebels. Gonna be nice. Has Viking capped his right oil yet? No, he oh, needs yeah. to get that now. The Red Guard has actually been there for some time and Ringo has his oil. So, Viking not opting for any of the... 1.6 Battle Masters, which is a shame. I think they're pretty good. Yeah, definitely against this many quads. Battle Masters would be nice here. Yeah, whilst their, their damage isn't very high, Dozer, that's not where you want to be. That's his last Dozer! Oh, what? Don't walk that one in there. What are you doing? No, Viking, no! Wow. General, General, do not recommend you send your last Dozer to the middle. That must have been a missed micro. Yeah. Hang on, this is... <laughs> oh. This is an outpost. Okay. Oh, wow, he did have another one. Hang on. What? So he must have gotten three Dozer start. He must have gone three dozer start. That being said, that's just a waste of a dozer. Yeah, yeah, he did. Okay. Okay, well, that uh, could have gone could have gone worse. Rebel. Can not gun the red guard down because he's a rebel. I bet you anything he won't finish it off. Rebels are awesome. Uh, Dude, if he actually gets it. No, he's going to get it. Dude, I was wrong. Oh, wow, he gets it. <laughs> I was incorrect. Nice work, rebel. W world's greatest rebel. He stealthed as well. Yeah. yeah. He's going to stealth away. Yeah, that camouflage. There is the outpost that will reveal, but that's just really Didn't even annoying. need APM, man. <laughs> man, Re Rebels are just so viable. Yeah. They're pretty much the best unit in the game. Don't build quads anymore, guys. Just build Rebels. <laughs> just build Rebels. Fine. Just spam Rebels out. I mean, it's, it's bullets are bullets, right? Rebels definitely think so. Yeah. Quality is not as efficient as quantity. Yeah. More bullets equals better. <laughs> does indeed. Uh, quads are moving on the left. The mines were cleared out now, so nice job. Uh, Ringo actually clearing those out, and he does still have control over the middle. Which means those stealth supplies are going to be mining, and that's a big pain yeah, for I, Viking to try and deal with. I think Viking has to act soon. He doesn't have mm. his palace, it's it, like it's just coming now. Um, Ringo has far too much supplies. Does he have his palace, though? Don't think so. No, he doesn't have his palace. No, um, really focusing on the kind of full supply at the moment. So it's going to be hard for Ringo to actually defend against this. It's a nice composition. I would like to see Battle Masters, though. Again, as I was going to say earlier, their damage isn't very high, but they have a lot of health, a lot of armor, especially with the rocket changes weakening the damage against tanks. They're really good for soaking up the damage whilst the outposts or the Gatling tanks deal the damage in the back lines. Oh, the mines! Oh, he's revealed them now. Will he move? That's two down. Two down. Meanwhile, Viking didn't commit his whole army, so he still has half of it over here. Flame tank is being focused down. Supply still alive. And the Red Guard are on the ground. They have good anti-building damage. Yeah, tunnels is kind of hard. You really do have to have a vehicle soaked for that. If he does get it, though, yeah, they will start to take... I think if the garrison, the Red Guard could have gone in the garrison and just, just destroyed. Yeah. 
Because then you, you can't really use quads uh, against them. They have longer range. Down. I think he's just trying to focus these tunnels down. He actually might get this one now. He probably should. The quads are all evacuated on the left side. Baiting them out. Nice work, but can Viking hold on? This is his very high importance buildings. He's prop center and his command center. Yeah, I think Ringo at this point is just scared of more mines, but now he's pushing in now. Uh, that's not a very good engagement no, not here. not at all. Loses a very crucial amount of his tanks for, for no, real, no reason. Kind of needed all of them there. And now he's left the middle exposed. Mm -hmm. If there's a counterattack here, he could lose his war factory. I mean, he did have to do something. Viking had to make a move. It was to the point where Ringo, you know, you can't just camp against a GLA on TD. Yeah, that being said, though, push everywhere. the command center has a lot of health, so he could have waited until he regrouped his tanks mm, better, yeah. or at least just engaged better. He really threw them in too far. The outposts can kite the gats and outrange, sorry, the quads and outrange them and, and really make use of that. That's a cover bomb, though. That's wow, get a nice. lot of these quads. Five, six, yep, there we go. Nice work. Good bait out there, I think. That can be the risk when you're attacking a command center. Yeah, and Ringo's going to be falling... Ah, oh, sorry, uh, Viking's actually going to be falling this one up, and that's exactly what he should do. He needs to type out as many quads as possible. Has still got his own oil derrick. Has his own oil derrick now. When the Red Guard got sniped by the Rebel earlier, but he has capped it again. Yeah, it's back. Has been recapped or capped for the first time. Uh, has Ringo got any black markets down? It's a bit of a question. Command center, palace. And palace. Okay, that's a good Not start. Not yet. He will eventually get AP ammo, which is going to be a huge power spike mm. for these quads. 25% extra damage. It's pretty good. Definitely is. Bunker being thrown down as well. Cheap, cost-efficient way for Viking to defend, especially when he already has all those red guard. That is a mine drop. Not a bad position. But there is a worker building a tunnel, so... Yeah, it hasn't been revealed as well. Hmm, Viking. He's kind of ready to respond to different threats, and he has Internet the, center. the network there. Okay. So that, that is... I mean, it's viable, but it just doesn't produce the same as Black Markets do. Yeah. And it, it, I don't know if I can, can hold out. So what I really want to see is a new cannon. He's China mm. Vanilla, so he can get those. Um, and because of the way that the command points work in, in 1.6, it means that they'll be cheaper relative to 1.4. Uh, and that will defend against infinite quads. You have to really flank the new cannon. And is that can be hard to deal with the GLA because there's no air units. So you need to have, like, buggies. If he just leaves a new cannon here, he, he can't push for your quads. He's yep. going to lose far too much. That would be a nice way for Viking to deal with it, because it kind of means that Ringo has to push at some point. Can't just leave the, the new cannon up, yeah. even if he builds a, a Scud Storm. Actually, of... look how many hackers he has. Mm -hmm. He's had a fair bit of them. That's... I think that's four. Am I right? Yeah, this is the yeah. big push here. The RPGs in the bunker will hold his prop center, but it won't hold the command center. No, it wasn't so, quite in the right position for it. Nice pickup there. Really should get a new cannon. He's already rebuilding it in the back though, and that should oh, be before the, cannons, the, the cooldowns come up. Inferno cannons can work. They're going to make it better against buildings and tunnels by yeah. quite a fair bit. New cannons have pretty low DPS against buildings, but the new cannons are going to be very valuable against oh, the quads. Here the they come. The bunkers are still there, so he has to avoid them and also <sighs> avoid this army. So he has to retreat. Going for the engagement though, this is a nice angle That's for really nice. Viking. He's going to cut off some of these quads to go down. Keep chasing, yeah. by all means. Can he go for it? He can't actually do the, down no, here. He's can't. There's, it in. There's nothing in there. This is not open middle, but he will go for oh, nice. the Inferno, Inferno cannons. cannons. They're left open. All the Inferno cannons are left open. The quads are just... They're, they're baiting. All the Inferno cannons are going down. That's all the arty for Viking. That's a huge bait coming in from Ringo. That being said, though, he lost a lot of his quads. He did. So probably not really worth it, but he will buy time. The Inferno cannons can't quite siege through. With no overlords, no battle masters, he can't really just brute force these tunnels down. Tries to get a few more snipes. That's a cover bomb. He did rebuild yeah. his command center. Nice juke. I, I think he's too concerned about the Jarman to go for the um, the overlords. Which is a pretty fair call. Let's see what else he decides to go for then. Aiden is just isn't, aren't going to work against <laughs> this many quads. Inferno um, cannons. Just, yeah, I, vanilla battle masters, man. That's that's what he needs. I also think new cannons would, would be much better. I mean, again, inferno cannons are okay against buildings, but not against quads. Not against quads. Red Bull no. ambush to get the the inferno cannons down, but inferno cannons. Are actually going to crush those. Mm -hmm. Even then, the main guns are pretty good. Inferno cannons have got a buff in 1.6. They have more health. But now, this is a huge quad push coming through. The outposts are actually trading pretty well. There are the, buggies in the background. Yeah, the buggy is going to be very effective here, too. Inferno cannons, I don't think they were really a good choice. No. I mean, it seemed like it at the time, but Viking really had to keep all his army together. He had to keep the Inferno cannons defended. Yeah. Or yet. I mean, new cannon 
It would have been nice. He gets a, a buggy with the arty strike, but not really anything else. And now he may start to lose his war factory. Yeah, he's GG's. There's a GG. He was in a tough spot. Yeah. Well, Ringo had the stronger position, like, pretty much the entire time. He mm. had, you know, more, more supplies. He had this map control. But, I mean, new cannons, man. They're so good. Yeah, new cannons are pretty good. Um... Yeah, I think yeah, new cannon definitely could have worked. I mean, with support of the army, kind of thing. Just yeah, the, the only thing is, I mean, inferno cannons are a little bit more mobile than new cannons are, and there was a lot of quad pushes on different sides. Yeah, of but like stuff. you just leave like one on the left side, one in the middle, like right side, you know, maybe as yeah. well. You don't really use them aggressively. You just leave them there. It's basically static defense. Um, leave them in guard mode, ready to set up and ready to go. Yeah, and exactly. Then, and then you just you know micro them when you need to when you need them to fire. So. Mm. So we do have Mr. Viking now, he's going to be our China Vanilla once again. Is he actually picking this faction? I don't know, but there's going to be GLA Toxin for Mr. Billy Joel. Mr. Ringo, yes. Mr. Ringo. I had to think about who it was again. <laughs> who actually yeah. sang the song. I knew yeah. you were get really offended if I butchered it. Oh, I definitely so would have. So I'm yeah. glad I actually <laughs> got it right. You have no idea how offended I would have gotten, so... I'm trying to think of a funny pun, pun using one of Billy Joel's songs to say how offended I would have been, but I can't think of one at the moment. Right. I'll get back to you. Well, arms... Nope. Airfield. Oh, cool. Very, very really filled. Good cool map for airfield. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Because of how big the map is, the, the rush timer is increased. But what's so, he going to do with I'm, it? Is he going to go for I'm like a... helix a, or...? Yeah, like a flame tank helix yeah. drop, but there's no war factory. Um, so maybe just MIGs. I mean, MIGs are going to be good at sniping and denying yeah. those workers, also denying tunnels if he gets them early enough. Yeah, two MIGs can be really nice. If you can get two early MIGs up and then you, you go for both supplies at the same time, because the surprise big attack is, is the deadliest. When you're not ready for it. Nice uh, truck. That's not a hijacker. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't definitely a, yeah, I guess, it was a good a truck crush. crush. Um, a dozer crush as well, in fact. Ooh. So, True Viking's actually doing quite well at denying these workers, but he can't deny the middle uptown girl, Ringo. He can't do much for that, but he will actually scout the Helix. Helix have a lot of vision. I don't think it has anything inside of it, though. It's, it's probably just no. empty. It does I mean, have the little gun, though. Yeah, you so. can also go for the, uh, the napalm bomb and just to try and harass the workers, but now there's going to be... A fair bit of quad. That being said, that's a, a terror tech. The Helix can actually counter that one very effectively if he has the Gatling cannon. Hopefully he's going for the upgrade. Yeah, Gatling now. cannon. Yeah, nice. So he's going to deny the the, uh, the terror tech, and that's good. That's good because of how open the map is. On the left here, Dozer going for another crush. Ooh. Finds it. it, it can oh! Be... Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, that's a nice play. He if can't crush it. Ringo, you know he can't. He he built it so he couldn't. He can just go for mines, instead. maybe, or the RPGs in there. That, that's actually clever. Because now we can just put the RPGs in there. Yeah. Bunkers build a little bit faster than tunnels do. He needs to get the RPG in the tunnel. Can he kill the worker? He might be so able to. Bunker. Um, Depending on the scatter. Probably not. It's... I don't think so. No, there we go. Okay. And now... He... Oh! He... oh! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh, he's killing all his own units. Oh, uh, he can't get the bunker. No! Oh, the bunker, though. That was quite funny, actually. But yeah, he's lost <laughs> his, this part now. That was cool. So, nice micro tricks from both of our players there. Command Center's still there, and this is a very big map. So going for a Helix play, he is, he is vanilla uh, China, so it's pretty strong. But oh, that's double that. That can deal with the quads easily. Yeah. That'll that'll destroy them. Definitely. And Helixes are actually nerfed in 1.6. They cost more because they're incredibly cost effective. He's gonna take the tunnel out as well. So nice play, but he has opened his his base up for the Terra Tech. I haven't seen it yet though. I think he's still holding on to it. Ringo, Terra yeah. Tech. He's waiting for it. Again, he knows the helixes are there, so he probably isn't going to try. Wants to play it safe. He can't lose it. It's such a big cost investment that if you don't get something out of it at this point, he's in serious trouble against tech. those helixes. Yeah. Yeah, it, exactly. It, he wants to make them work. Oh, there's, there's no yeah. uh, tunnel here. There's no tunnel up. It means the quads are going to be so slow to respond. This is such a good play here because, you know, what you don't realise is GLI actually invest a fair bit in getting tunnel network control. You, it's 800 every tunnel. If you put three tunnels down, you, you're spending a lot of cash there. So it does mean you can have delayed production and delayed so uh, units. So he didn't actually go for the the worker snipes. He wanted to the deny guard. the tunnel, hmm. but he couldn't quite in time. That's a shame. Could have definitely got more out of it if he did just go for that. So he needs to get a third one for the prop tower on the helix. Or he can just repair on the airfield, but it does take a while. So, Flame Tank coming out. There's going to be a lot of quads now. So, he needs to go either outputs or Battle Masters. Battle Masters are good, theoretically, but they're very slow, and it's a very big map. So, I think he's going to have a hard time actually using Battle Masters if he wants to. So, Outpost going to be safer, given the extra movement speed. Going for the old cap now. 
Nice to nice. I'm surprised he's actually looking for these deep tunnels against the helixes. Yeah, that's true. But now the quads are coming through, and really, is there any static defense? This is when Battle Mars is going to be good if they're used defensively to hold your tunnel. Uh, sorry, to hold your supplies. Four quads that are stopped will still Ooh. lose to two Gatlexes, but no one on low health. Yeah, and, and these uh, Helix are actually pretty low. They can't really fight like this. No, it's That's a Battle Master. Nice play, Viking. Really nice to see this Battle Master. He's rolling out. out another one as well. Again, they only cost 650 in 1.6, so they're actually very cost effective, but not in a 1v5. He needs to regroup them. He's going to throw it away. That's a shame. Yeah. yeah come on. That, that's a bad rally point. Yeah. Realizes it's a bad rally point. He's going to come back from that. Also, goes to the oil cap as well, Viking. He's playing this quite nicely. He's got his own, and he's got the side one as well. Helix is there responding now. With the help of the Battle Master, they can deal with the quads. However, the quads will be focusing something when the. Yeah, you have to wait in. for the quads to, to focus, and then if they, they do focus, you have to sort of back away. So it's hard to micro, and with this little HP, it'll be very risky. He may be able to get the, uh, the oil here. Three but, battle masters, yeah, that's that, nice. That's enough. Yeah, that'll be enough. That'll do it. If he focuses the same quad, that's what he needs to do. So he can't really... Oh, no, miss, miss micro there. I was going to say, he can't really kill them, but he can force them off, and that's all he really yeah. needs to do. And if they're moving, the, the helixes will actually be able to take them out as well. Yeah, exactly. If he, like, boxes them in... Um, he's got a garrison here. That's going to be very nice. I bet it's full of RPGs as yeah, well. There was two Vikings nice playing sword. this really nicely. Oh, he died a tunnel by the looks yeah, of it. Yeah, indeed. That was such a cool tunnel placement, though, and then the bunker right next yeah. to it, so the toxin automatically focuses it and kills the RPGs. I've seen that once before. What is this Helix doing? I don't know. Scouting oh, something. there we go. Point. Oh, the plays. He's going to lose boxing. two of them. They're running straight into Battle Masters now. Nice wow. work. Yeah, only one of them's left. He can That's kill that. That's beautiful with... play from Viking. Yeah, he can kill this easy Yeah, with his Helixes. I'm actually clapping for that. I don't know if we have clap sound effects. No, I don't think we do. This is a terrible sound effects maker. I hope you didn't pay more than a dollar for it. I didn't buy it. Well, you, who bought it then? It's not even working properly. Yeah. Does it need more batteries? Probably. Yeah, probably needs more batteries. <sighs> Back to the camera micro. <laughs> um, yeah, just just perfect play from Viking thus far, really. I mean, mixing in Battle Masters deals with the quads. He's got the, the helixes as well. This is going to be hard. Oh, for... it won't deal with RPGs, nah, though. No, they won't. I just love how the screen shakes in Battle Masters fire. He keeps that Battle Master alive. Like, when you have, like, like mass uh, auto-loader battle masters and your screen is just like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it needs on to back right, that away, right. or at least put it behind. On the right, on the right, on the right. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Alex is coming in, one of them actually one of them down actually, now. But... Playball coming in. Doesn't quite take out the... Oh, Derek there. So it's actually f the Ward's five here, Alexis. <laughs> Which is a pretty wow. heavy investment there. I think it's a little bit too much. I think at this mm. stage it's probably better just going for a prop tower. Yeah. They've done their get, work. Getting um, new cannon overlords. Battle Master wasn't at the back there. He will lose this engagement. Yeah, and he needs to have his Battle Masters with the Helixes. Because, again, the Battle Masters on their own, like, they won't do that much when there's tunnels and RPGs around. He needs to have the Helixes to support them. They're good damage soaks, and this is just a lot of Helixes. I think what he was looking to do maybe was to try and... Oh, wow! <laughs> this garrison. If he can like, snipe a tunnel whilst the quads are away, then he can use the helixes and the quads can't pop out. This is a lot of them. He, he needs to also maybe get some, like, battle bunkers. A mix. Wow. Such heavy yeah, air committing. Pine. He's committing hard. This is the point where you build stinger sites. The, the general, general, yeah, general, generally actually, don't recommend you build them, but this is the point where you do. When you're versing, like, six helixes... And even four MIGs. MIGs. Wow. Wow. So those MIGs can actually firestorm those, those quads if, uh... Ringo isn't careful. This could be a surprise attack as well. Oh, and they're going for it now. What's he going for, though? He didn't Maybe go for he a pop first. Uh, I really would have tried to bait that. I just sent a battle master out and try and get like a quad pop or something from it, so... He needs black napalm for it to kill yeah, the tunnel. he does. Doesn't have it yet. Hmm. Yeah, stinger sights. RPGs are nice, but because, you know, no tracking... Um... Can be hard to take them out, so yeah, definitely I'd say stinger sights here. A lot of quads though. That's that's gonna be nice. That's a civilian. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, it is too. I, th I think he tried to focus the civilian. <laughs> <laughs> but he can't push through here. No. That uh, the garrison's very strong. That being said though, Upturn Gal Ringo, he has the map, but he doesn't really have the supplies, because he's kind of had them sniped. So 
it's not as much in the favor of Ringo as you would think. And when with this huge like helix the army, control. the game can end really easily. Yeah. If you can just burst things down um, with the helixes, at the same time, they can also get killed very easily if they're caught out of position. For it's the record, civilians can't pick up scrap. One of them just walked over it. <laughs> get like really buff arms or something. So, I think you got. Did you get a Toxin Rebel into the. Um... Yeah, it won't clear a bunker. <laughs> yeah. Didn't they in 1.4? Not a, no, not a bunker. No, I didn't you can't a bunker? clear bunkers. Yeah, I don't think so. They, I, I think they, sure. they nerfed the garrison clearing. I don't think Toxin Rebels can actually clear garrisons anymore. No. Which is kind of good, considering it costs like 150 yeah, or 200. Yeah, it's kind of dumb to have like a... More well, infantry can clear garrisons and yours can't. Mm. Like, US have to pay 800 for flashbangs. <laughs> Gillet Toxin gets them for free, <laughs> for free, basically. That's the truth of it. Uh, not quite the horde bonus yet. It would be nice to see that on the battle masters. And the whole army here for Viking isn't tech. It's just like I have lots of units. So yeah. I'd like to see him use them a little bit more though. If double airfield, in fact, so wow. he really wants to keep commit this. He doesn't actually have the black napalm. Oh, Ooh, here we go. This is one of them. Big. Yep. So he really kill this one? No, he shouldn't. No, he, he doesn't, and that's strange. No. That's not a change in in uh, in one point six. He like, needs black napalm. Like yeah, that. yeah. I think it's... Um, Blake recommends the black napalm upgrade. The black napalm upgrade yeah. is nice. So. Bit of a cat out here, yeah. See, I'm not sure. You can't really give GLA the map control like mm. this, because they have a stronger late game. Yeah, do they have the black markets yet, though? I mean, that, that'd be... He doesn't even have a palace on yeah. anything. Not that I can see. See, he's not stealth, though, and that's the one thing I think that Viking has going for him. And I don't think he'd be going for this playstyle if he was stealth, because, you know, you can't... Yeah, the black markets aren't going to be stealth when they first come out. They can they can just die to the, the MiGs, even with the, the barricades. Yeah. And it's, it's easy to predict the, the quad pop, so mm. you can see where your MiGs can go yeah. without being sniped. So the, the deeper the MiGs go, wow. the more chance... Well, there's just more MiGs. The deeper the MiGs go, the more chance they have is being caught by a tunnel they didn't know about. Then yeah, all exactly. the quads pop out and you lose all of the yeah. MiGs. And then it's just like, well, there goes half of my army. That being said, look at the supplies. It's actually running out in the base. Mm. Marauder tanks now, even. Yeah, Marauder's coming through. There's the quads. A lot of MiGs, but a little bit of overkill. Loses one of them. He didn't quite split the MiGs up. If yeah, he should have gone half and half. Yeah, he probably could all of them. Battle Masters are rotating over. They're very slow, and the Helix coming through should be fine. There's only four of them. Yeah. You can just attack move this one. Yeah, <laughs> easy. Easy mode. Not even a problem for the Helixes. This is like the best counter system I've ever seen. This is in 1.6 as well. This is great. Uh, another, another, another quad army, though. Oh, wow. Ringo, Here we go. This is the Ringo army. Rotten tanks as well are going to be nice against those Battle Masters. He's camping the, the airfield. He may lose out. all of them. He's going to lose. Oh, he's going to lose those MiGs. Yeah. They're almost in range. A couple of them come through, it will force the split up, which will buy time for the MiGs. They're losing a fair bit of them. Battle Masters have come in. That, uh, I think, went really badly for Viking, and that was a really nice timing by uh, Ringo, because he didn't actually have the Battle Masters nearby. He loses one MiG. Still losing a lot of MiGs here. Yeah. The Battle Masters rotated to the left, which meant that the quads could go in, so that was really nice to see. Oh, the quads are going to get caught. Helixes are coming in. The tunnel's not up yet. And the Battle Masters. This'll work. Yeah, if he micros it effectively, the quads are still focusing. They're moving, so they're not firing at their full Potential. rate of fire. Battle and Masters have to keep yeah, moving Helixes, in, though. No, they can't focus the Marauder tanks. No! They're going to get destroyed. He loses only, what, one of them? Two of them? Two Helixes down. Battle Masters aren't firing. Battle Masters need to move in. The Helixes are being demolished. This is not cost effective. Oh, that's another Helix. Oh, man. More pops coming in here. Oh, that's unfortunate for Viking. He might even lose his game from that micro. He only has battle masters. He didn't which... keep the battle masters moving in. The quads just stopped, and then they auto focus the helixes. Yeah. That being said, though, he could get a nice and uh, black napalm strike here. There's still a helix left. The MIGs are, are going in now. This is actually pretty good. He lost the helix though. Gets the firestorm, but not cost effective. No. And when your opponent has like the entire map of supplies. You need to engage cost effective. Double scrap Marauder Vet 2. Those things are kind of nuts. Yeah. Not as nuts as 1.4, but they're still kind of nuts. crazy. Yeah. That thing will not be dying. Yeah, and the flame tanks think better of it and run the other way. Yeah, I think at this point the mix just aren't going to do anything. Look at that. The Marauder's so crazy. And I'm pretty sure that's 40% slower than yeah. 1.4. It's considerably, yeah. They, they got nerfed a fair bit. Because they're kind of dumb. Oh, man. That won't, I don't think that'll even kill it. Please. No, oh, god damn it. I was really hoping it wouldn't kill it. Not cost effective. Okay. Oil is still there, and he can actually just kill this 
spoil Derek with a tech terror, yeah. or if he rebuilds I think that's what's going. I, I bet that's the tech, the original tech terror, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's had it the whole time. He's just been holding on to it for the for the for well, the. Field repair moment. comes through. Oh, that's nice. The Marauder's actually still alive. <laughs> the Marauder needs to get focused. One shot it. Double scrap first. Ah, oh, nice. He gets it. Ah, oh, well played. Ah. Uh, Doesn't get the quad in time though. Yeah. No, this, this, get is, the this is game over here for Viking. Yeah, this is definitely game over. All those MIGs are falling. Just too much investment in this airplane. Exactly. And then you didn't micro the, the, the Battle Masters effectively. Maybe if the Battle Masters moved in, it would have worked. But, um, I mean, all, all Ringo did is see, okay, you have that much air units. I'm going to build 20 quads. It was literally like 20 quads. Um, I like the Marauders, though, as well. Yeah, the Marauders was definitely a, were definitely a nice oh, mix in. Terra Tech comes through. Way. Nice play. I reckon that's the Terra Tech. Yep, there we go. It literally is. Yeah, four Terrace. I reckon that's the one he's held on to this entire game. See, I think the problem with, with uh, Ringo is he went, like, he Helix Spam, and then he also went MIG Spam as well. Like, do you really need Helixes mm. and MIGs? Because your opponent already has so many tunnels, so many quads, you are and... Victorious. Yeah, Vanilla China doesn't have the best War Factory units, but... If he just if he had mm. new cannons defensively, new cannons defensively are so strong. You, you can't really have those big pushes, yeah. uh, and like I think outposts, like you can't necessarily rely on battle masters because they're slow, despite yeah. how uh, good they are. But like if he had outposts, like and battle masters, uh, and you could just more ground yeah. units, like he probably had about eighty five percent of his units were air units, yeah. and that's just too and definitely much. in cost effect, in cost terms, if nothing else. It yeah, was, it was eighty five percent of his, his income was based on. Yeah. The air units there. Not only that, I think the Marauders, another reason they were good was because of Helix autofocus. Because yeah, exactly. no one is good enough to micro all of the Helixes that make them continuously target quads. Because how fast the quads are going down, your micro would just have to be like StarCraft level. Yeah. In order to focus I, the quads I don't know if you can they, rally point. I don't think you can. Um, yeah. In StarCraft, for example, yeah. you can fo focus a unit and go like focus and then shift click, waypoint. Click, 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 click. Yeah. So you actually focus units individually automatically. Zero, you can't do that. In yeah, zero I don't, I don't hour, think you can so. in zero. You, you, um, you can obviously waypoint movement, but I'm pretty sure you can't in terms yeah. of um, like focusing units. Yeah, and that's what we saw there. I mean, it was just like uh, attack quads, attack quads, attack quads. All the of a sudden, attack a marauder, down. and then it's like it took a good like three or four seconds for the marauder to actually die yeah. because it was just the the gatling cannons yeah. from the helixes focus. And it. then because he had to re micro the helixes and mm. refocus the quads, the he masters. then neglected the battle masters. But, like, again, I said it before, the Battle Masters were caught out of position, but if he had two less MiGs or three less Helixes, and then he had double the amount of Battle Masters, he could have just kept them more defensively, because it just means that you can't use your quads that aggressively. But a nice game, and I like his playstyle from Viking, I just think he went a little bit too far with it. Yeah. Definitely like the start of it as well. And that's yeah. a pretty ballsy start as well, going for a couple of helixes. So. And what would have been really cool to see mm. is if you can do a flame tank drop with a helix just to, mm. to snipe the oil. Like, you have to do it pretty early, otherwise there's too many quads and tunnels. But if you do it early enough, you can just deny that um, the oil and then that, in the long term, makes a pretty huge impact mm. not having that oil. I think that could have worked as well. He didn't really need the second helix up as soon as he did have it up. Yeah. He did allow him to be more aggressive, but he didn't really make any, any like full use of it. I think the... The, the airfield war factory, one helix, one flame tank probably would have worked out yeah. better for him in that case. Napalm bombs can be nice, but because of the time it takes to drop them, it's risky. they're in a it's really so vulnerable yeah. position. So they can work right at the start, but after that, it's just it's not really worth it. I think my favorite play on this map, what I love doing, mm -hmm. is you put Burton in a Chinook and then just <laughs> fly the Chinook over and then just uh, blow up their oil. And because <laughs> of how fast Chinooks are, like yeah. even if they quad pop, they generally won't kill yeah, it. No, you won't Where Helixes are down. quite slow, so you can actually focus them down. But you can't really prevent that um, that, that Burton Chinook play unless you have like something actually defending the oil. But anyway, fun game. that'll wrap this one up. That was a nice game. Yeah. Cheers, guys.